Hey, what's up, everybody? I haven't done a video in a while. Um, right now I'm in my kitchen. I'll show you guys what I'm doing. Uh, you guys don't really need to see right now, but right now I'm gonna uh, explain to you guys what I'm doing. Um, these are some uh, recipes that I learned throughout the years that catch good fish. So, um, tomorrow I'm going out fishing, and we just had a cold front. We just literally had snow yesterday. It's gonna be like today is gonna be 50. Tomorrow is gonna be in the high 50s. So I'm gonna go out and do a little fishing tomorrow. And um, so I'm gonna be doing um, like I said, like one of the videos I talked about. I was I'm doing a uh, I got my uh, 12 days of uh, fishman there calendar thing. I gotta go try out tomorrow. Plus my new pole that my lady bought me for Christmas. Gotta try that tomorrow. And then um. I'm just going out fishing. You know what I'm saying? But right now what I'm doing is I'm cutting hot dogs up to probably about like, I don't know, maybe a half an inch. Maybe an inch. Well, that side right there. I mean, they're not big at all. And I'm putting them in a um, Ziploc bag. You know what I'm saying? And then the secret recipe to it is a little bit Kool-Aid. And I'm going to add some red Kool-Aid to it and let it sit overnight until tomorrow when I go fishing this is uh these are what we use for uh catfish so see if I get me catfish tomorrow whatever I don't know what's gonna be buying tomorrow so I'm gonna try basically try whatever I can get my whatever I can catch hopefully I have a nice video for you guys tomorrow if not you know what you always do this video if you guys do some of my recipes then um I also have a uh, can of corn that I'm using and I'm gonna put some uh I'm gonna put some uh, strawberry jam in there. And that's for the carp. Maybe I might catch a couple catfish, might catch catfish with, um, with these hot dogs. But let me um, go grab the Kool Aid here. And uh, I'm gonna put a little bit of the Kool Aid in there. A little bit of Kool Aid, red Kool Aid. Uh, that should be plenty. Hoping this works. You normally use the powder Kool Aid, but I obviously ain't got that because I forgot to fix them up yesterday. But we'll just try this Kool Aid, see what happens. That's all you do, they really do. Oh, it's working. It, just, it turns into a red color, as you guys see. The hot dogs are starting to turn red. Might have to add a little bit more in there. But, um,. I don't know if it's the flavor, the color, whatever it is, something, not really getting red, something is, um, makes, I don't know, something the catfish like, I don't know what it is, the Kool-Aid, if it's the color, or I think it more likely it's the color, because doing this, this Kool-Aid here has powder in it, I mean, this has powder and it has sugar in it, so, this is going to be a little Kool-Aid sweet hot dogs, but the packs is just Kool-Aid itself, Dude, they're getting red now. Um, hopefully, I have a can of corn. I gotta go double check. But that's it. Throw that in there. I mean, put a little bit of garlic in there too for the scent. Which I'm gonna do right now. You can put mashed garlic in there. You can put garlic powder in there. You can put whatever garlic you want in there. Now, i got to move all this to be my garlic. There it is. Now, I got this garlic from, um, from BJ's. And it's a little, and it's like a lot, like powder powder. It's like weird looking. But I'm just going to pull a little bit in there. Woo. There's a little garlic scent in there. I could put, I do have garlic scent I could put in. I use when I, when I make my, uh, when I make my baits. And we do have a, uh, I do have garlic scent, but we'll just do it like this, see what happens. And like I said, I'm gonna let it sit overnight. And then we're gonna, uh, let me see right now if I have any, if I have any, uh, oh my god, on my table here. You buy it because my can't get my covered. Uh, 
Alright. See if I got see if I got a little bit of uh Whoa, don't wanna do that. Sorry, I gotta take my baby in my pocket and make some weird noises. Alright, um let's see if I got some in here. I got a crap load of spaghettios, cut beans, cut beans, cut beans, cut beans. I don't know, is this gonna put the light at the flashlight my face no I'm chasing the cabinet over here. Beans. I'm sorry, about that, guys. This is all beans over there. Oh shoot. Oh, oh well, you guys only see her. <laughs> I'm trying. Uh, D, some beef stew, spinach, some puree, some chicken breast, more peanut butter. Oh shit. Um, I guess I don't got it. Any. So I'm gonna have to. Yeah, I don't think I, I don't think I got any. I don't think I got any. Um, what I do got, I do got frozen corn. I think I'll do the same thing. I know I got frozen corn. Let me go in my freezer here. I do got a little bit of corn right there. Well, the corn will probably work too, just as good as the other corn. Um, yeah, see, these are nice and red now because I got them all mixed up pretty good. Um, scissors. We're gonna, uh, whoa. Let's take a little bit of corn. Um, got some of these so let me go in my cover here i got some of these little things here i'll just take one of these little guys things here with me i have no clue what they are or where they came from something my wife well my, my girl and her daughter brings home so i don't know where they get them from but we'll just use one of these then i got it in there got some corn corn in there you can see yeah you guys see it um i'm gonna I'm gonna probably use great jams. I don't know if I have strawberry, but you can either use strawberry, strawberries, or grapes. Strawberry or grape, that would be cool. How I just do that. Now I gotta sweep that up. Alright, see what we got here. We got some grapes. Got some grape. Got some grape. Got some grape jelly. I don't have strawberry. I got grape. But it's still this thing. You gotta squeeze some in here. Just enough to cover it up. Then you're gonna take a spoon and just stir it up. Let it sit overnight. Let all that jam get in there. Now, these, this is a secret thing that we use up here in New York where I'm at. This is how we get the carp. I mean, like, literally, we get the carp just in that little bit like that. See, it's all mixed up in there now. It's like sticky and stuff like that. And, it, and when it's done, I mean, that's what it is. So, this is going to end that video. So, if you guys. I know I haven't posted a video in a while. So if you guys would simply help me reach one of my goals, which is to 1,000 subscribers, um, I would appreciate it. Um, I've been doing this for a few years now. And, yeah, that's not... I'm not getting many subs in there like I want to. So, I mean, that's no big deal. Sorry, I got to clean my mess. On the counter here. It's no big deal, but I would like to try to get to a, a thousand subscribers. Um, so, perfect time right now. It takes two minutes out of your day. 
just hit the subscribe button hit the notification button if you want to see when I load up videos which will be more often now because it is that time of the year well we'll be doing more video, uh, fish videos I do have a couple um, stuff coming up that I gotta make for people so there will be more bait making videos coming out and um, uh, hopefully I have a video for you guys after this one comes up I'll be fishing with this stuff so I mean my go my uh, my sports camera GoPro whatever you want to call them they're being crappy right now so I have to do a thing on my phone so it's going to be hard to record a video but if I record a video while I'm out there I'm, I'll do it I will do it and see what I can do um so I'll see you guys on the next one so if, like I said please like subscribe to my channel I'll leave a comment below let me know if this is what you like um uh, and give me some ideas what you guys want to see so we can get more people to subscribe to the channel and share this video. I appreciate it. Until the next one, we'll see you guys then. I'm out.